Good day views and subscribers, welcome back to my channel, this is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally. Footballers in custody after a businessman shot dead in St. Thomas. A popular top flight local footballer is now in custody following the shooting death of a businessman in St. Thomas on Tuesday. The footballer, who represented Tivoli Gardens in the last Red Stripe Premier League season, was held after police reacted quickly to the shooting death of 32-year-old Dexter Roden of Leith Hall District, St. Thomas. According to the Morant Bay Police report, two men were fatally shot during confrontations with cops in St. Thomas on Tuesday, minutes after they were reportedly involved in the murder of a businessman in the parish. An AK-47 rifle and an M-16 rifle were seized during the incident. Two other suspects who eluded the police were later arrested, said the report from the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Corporate Communications Unit. Roden was reportedly shot dead by four armed men traveling in a Honda Fit motor car. An off-duty policeman responded and one of the gunmen was shot dead on Lisson's main road after the murder was committed and the second man was also shot dead in Highbury District, both in St. Thomas, the police report explained. The names of the arrested persons were not released, but sources revealed that the footballer was held. A voice note circulating online reportedly reveals the footballer pleading with the authorities that he didn't know the gunmen and was in fact shot by them. I am a working man. I don't know the man them general. I don't know the man them officer, pleaded the man in the voice note. One M16 assault rifle with a magazine containing 29 5.56 rounds of ammunition, an extra magazine containing 16 5.56 rounds of ammunition, and an AK-47 assault rifle with a magazine containing 9 7.62 rounds of ammunition were seized during the incident. We understand that the second person in custody actually escaped the shooting but returned to the scene later on a bike and was identified and held by the police. He reportedly represented Arnett Gardens Football Club some years ago. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.